Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for joining us. For some of you, I hope you have um, joined us for a few of the previous webinars in preparation for the statewide tour of manufacturing, which is coming up right around the corner, just a few weeks away during the month of October. If you are new joining us for today's webinar, welcome. We are so glad that you joined us today. So for those of you that I haven't met, my name is Jamie Meyer, and I'm the Director of Marketing and Outreach for the Minnesota State Advanced Manufacturing Center of Excellence. Again, thanks for attending this Friday webinar in our new Statewide Tour Friday webinar series, Getting the Word Out for this 2023 October Statewide Tour of Manufacturing. We are excited to offer this webinar series designed to build more awareness around the tour and support partners throughout the state with planning efforts, and engage more partners and communities and manufacturers throughout the state in this effort. So be sure to register your tours or manufacturing event on our brand new website shown in our agenda. I'll, I'll also be sharing that today. And feel free to register for the open house hours next Friday to ask more involved questions um, and help you brainstorm some ideas. And lastly, also look out for some more webinars in the future. We have some regional champions and some best practices to share um, for those community organizers and some other topics that we're looking at moving forward. Today we have lots of lots of fun to share out, and the focus today is about getting the word out. I will include some school and community outreach recommendations and tips for sharing out your tour or event, and some suggestions and ideas for marketing and outreach and messaging. I'll share some of our quick videos highlighting careers in manufacturing and promotion of the tour that you can also utilize and share out for your promotional needs and also guide you through our free templates to support your efforts as well. I'll share with you why the statewide tour is so important and the impact that it can have. And I'll share a variety of ways that you can get the word out and announce your tour of manufacturing event. So remember our website is your go-to for registering your event. And we have, again, like I shared, a brand new site as of officially live yesterday that we are so excited to see the, the traffic and come through and engage with this new website for the 2023 Statewide Tour of Manufacturing. In addition, you will find our guides and resources that are free for you to use as well. So remember, as you're starting to send out messaging, remember to use those hashtags um, for just amp to amplify the messaging um, that you're sharing out. So hashtag statewide tour, Minnesota manufacturing, um, using those in coordination with your organization's hashtags, again, will just really amplify um, the whole messaging around this event. So if you need assistance with logos or any of that, just reach out to us directly for any questions related to those images or assistance. Um, there will be time for questions and answers, and this is, um, an exciting initiative, great impact for Minnesota manufacturing and our future workforce um, to really showcase the realities of modern manufacturing. So I wanted to just engage the audience right now um, with a poll and just ask uh, a couple open-ended questions that um, we'll share out in the chat. Um, but what is your preferred way to receive information about an event like this? And Nick is, is sharing those now. Um, also just wanted to let you know that Nick, um, an expert from our team is here to monitor the chat and assist with the logistics of this webinar. So you are muted and he can unmute you at the end of the webinar to ask uh, direct questions. I think any anything that you share would be helpful um, for you know for our efforts in the future or for the community that is already promoting efforts. So please please just share out anything that how what is your preferred way? Facebook, Instagram. Well, and we've and still got responses that? coming in, Jamie. I just I won't be able to share them until uh, I close off the poll. So it'll be um, another another maybe thirty seconds or so. Yep, okay, perfect. Oh, 
All right. And with those coming in, um, I also wanted to um, ask another question, uh, two, twofold questions. What is an effective method that you use to promote an event? So how do you like to receive? And then this question is, what, what in your opinion or what has been effective method for you to use to promote a tour or event? And Nick is gonna get that question teed up so that you can answer that one as well. And if you didn't quite get that, there's another question teed up here. What is an effective method you use to promote your tour event? So just feel free to answer what you believe is an effective method um, or that you use to promote any type of event. Um, I think we all learn from each other. So it's, it's always fun and interesting to receive the feedback. Jamie responses are still coming in for the second question. So I'll, I'll, I'll close that off in about 30 seconds or so to share the results. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Nick. All right, well, thank you for participating in those. And Nick's gonna be sharing out the results so that you can see and hear from, from other folks. So here's a quick snapshot or overview of our Center of Excellence for those who may not be familiar. Um, we are one of eight centers of excellence that were established by Minnesota State College and Universities that serve industry. And the other seven include agriculture, engineering, energy, health, IT, and transportation. And they were identified as a need to serve in the space between industry and education so that really education can stay up to date with industry and industry is engaged with education to ensure the next skilled workers. So while we serve the entire state, our center is hosted by Bemidji State University. There are 26 technical and community colleges and four universities offering certificate and degree programs throughout Minnesota. And we work to support their efforts in the, in the Minnesota state system. And our center's priorities are to engage industry, enhance education and inspire students. And our mission is really all, all things about careers in manufacturing. We wanna help recruit and educate the next skilled workers. Um, so in Minnesota, the Minnesota manufacturing workforce, there's a problem. 53% of Minnesota manufacturers' top concerns are attracting qualified workers. There are over 10,000 open jobs in Minnesota manufacturing. So the solution is increasing awareness and changing misperceptions of manufacturing among the emerging and existing workforce. So it was actually in the state of manufacturing report this year, the top issue facing manufacturing was inflation. And the second to that was the perception of manufacturing. So um, we have a lot of work to do in this area. Um, Actually, it's a national issue. Uh, there are 4 million jobs that need to be filled by 2030 nationwide, and likely that over 2 million will go unfilled. So that can have a huge trillion dollar impact on our nation's economy. And how that trickles into Minnesota is going to be a, a huge problem. And so we're here to try to solve that problem. Um, to try to come up with those workforce solutions and offer diverse and inclusive opportunities as well, and really make sure that we are helping students and in the spaces of promoting manufacturing careers and bringing awareness to, to these exciting careers and changing those perceptions so that people who haven't before will consider and investigate 
choosing a career in manufacturing. And so we know that students have influencers in their lives, caregivers, educators, and parents are all part of that process of helping you choose their next steps and career path. So it's really important to engage all of these audiences that influence and work in partnership with our regions, communities, local schools, community college, community and technical colleges, and create really compelling content and experiences. So not just telling, um, but really showing and engaging um, them in the process, because that that's really where the magic happens. The statewide tour of manufacturing is Minnesota's biggest annual opportunity to inspire the next generation, positively shift perceptions about the industry statewide and build the foundation for the manufacturing workforce of the future. So the goal of this effort is to increase statewide awareness and show the realities of modern manufacturing and to inspire the next generation of workers. So we're really working hard to showcase those diverse career opportunities. Most often in our own backyard, we have no idea what these beautiful, facilities um, do inside every single day. They might be shipping nationwide, have amazing career opportunities, and this is an opportunity to see exactly what's going on. De um, this effort demonstrates that manufacturing is exciting, high-tech, sustainable, safe, essential, and really everywhere. You can't go an hour in life without engaging with something or using something that has been manufactured or really uh, manufacturing really makes a difference in everyday life. Manufacturing careers offer high pay, professional growth, and the ability to impact the world around us and empowers Minnesota manufacturers to come together. So this effort really just brings just a ton of energy, all of the manufacturers around Minnesota to really say, hey, these are the jobs we have. Um, we're here showing you that manufacturing is much different than those then those words, the dark, dirty, dangerous, hard, low light, low paying, and not a job that you want your child to have or that, you know, that there's a future in, that is completely changed. So this is the work that needs to happen to change those words, the perceptions for all audiences. And the goal is to increase statewide awareness and come together as partners to really make that big impact, change those perceptions and inspire the next workers. So there is a career in manufacturing really for everybody. And often it may not be it often it may be in your own backyard and manufacturing jobs are are high paying um, you can make a difference generation z really cares about making a difference doing something that really makes a difference and you can really see tangibly at the end of the day during the day every day in manufacturing um, something that is making a difference in the life of somebody um, and so it's, it's a really exciting career path so this is an opportunity to get students thinking about their future career opportunities and other careers that manufacturing offers. Uh, for example, there's a lot of uh, finance opportunities, human resource marketing opportunities. Uh, the whole industry is hiring and has a career path really for anybody. Um, again, it it's really that long-term career path as well with benefits and growth and so Definitely want to highlight all the opportunities. Again, just bringing attention to this kind of issue facing, facing manufacturing. Those high school statistics are pretty alarming as well in the area of interest and awareness, um, which is yet another reason why efforts like this are so important. Despite the rewarding career paths and new technology um, that are available in advanced manufacturing, many students simply don't know that these opportunities exist. So it's vital that educators and industry partners um, and outreach groups, anyone that's aligned with manufacturing um, aligns their outreach initiatives to increase awareness and generate that excitement. So, so that it becomes really a default uh, when these students are asked all the time, what do you wanna do when you grow up? What, what, what are your next steps? Um, so that this 3% is, is uh, more of kind of a mainstream or default. Well, yeah, I'm going to go into manufacturing and that's accepted. Um, so we want, we want the goal that this question has a new default answer and that manufacturing is in that sentence and in that plan. And that is the ultimate goal. So the center's role is to lead at a high level, the statewide collaboration to join together efforts and track the impact 
to serve as that megaphone, raising the visibility of the industry and its career opportunities and also the career pathway with our education partners. So we are recruiting the next skilled worker for industry. Our work is dedicated to leading and growing this effort. And that means seeking out financial support, either through grants or sponsorships and sponsorship dollars help sustain this initiative as well as grow this effort and develop more resources. We are serving in the space of leading the efforts in the in changing the perception campaign throughout Minnesota. And this is this um, tour is one way, one outreach effort that is working and we continue to invest our time and energy and resources into. And so this, you know, we're really here to develop and, and share those resources, support other engagement strategies, host um, a networking awards banquet celebrating manufacturing as part of this, um, identifying regional champions and staying engaged with them and, and what's happening in their communities and the, and the boots on the ground. And so we really serve in that space of, of leading this statewide effort. There's so many regions and communities that have activities and tours going on. And so we have come into the space of how can we support them? What resources do they need, financial um, or other, to help get more manufacturers involved, help get more players involved, and really raise that visibility? And so here's a snapshot, a look at the partners of collaboration. Um, Local workforce boards, workforce development officers, directors, deed, workforce reps, career force, manufacturing associations, chambers of commerce. Those are great to reach out to for starting points. In fact, we have identified regional champions, which will be live on our site as well, that will be point of contact representatives serving each of these regions of the state. Um, that would be able to help with resource questions, financial resource questions for transportation. Um, point you in the right direction to coordinate a tour, bring students on a tour, all of those things. So these partners really make the magic happen. They are the identified boots on the ground in the regions or the leaders in that area throughout the state that coordinate tours year after year and are dedicated to this effort as well. Um, and they facilitate, you know, those those conversations um, when companies need to talk to schools and host events such as this, this is an opportunity to connect with the entire state and the leaders in the state to really bring that visibility to manufacturing. And so just sharing out our, our, our results of 2022 post COVID time. So this was a um, much bigger success than we had during COVID. However, we still had tours happening during COVID. Virtual tours became a thing, um, which was also very positive. So just sharing some of the impact that this effort has statewide um, with you know the smaller numbers, if you can see those there, the educators that attended a tour, the employers that participated, and the number of manufacturing tours from 2011 to 22 is over 2000. And so we have over 7,500 manufacturers in Minnesota. And so our goal is to at least, at least half become involved in the next few years. So here's a listing of our free resources that we can are continuing to develop. In fact, there's some new um, templates to use this year. So this is for helping you get the word out. Um, so we have identified, really many of these have been identified by that planning committee, by that collaboration group that are the boots on the ground and that are stating that we need this resource, we need this resource, manufacturers need help with this. Let's get something to help educators. Let's, you know, create some templates that can be shared out. And so here's a list of um, everything that we offer that are absolutely free to use. Um, so we were looking, also looking into some other options, such as a merch store for some pre-branded statewide tour t-shirts, safety glasses, um, continuing to work on toolkits, that type of thing. Also to note, we have a manufacturing teacher guide curriculum that you could really use to bring full circle with an experience in the classroom um, where educators um, could use that as well as a robotics coach resource. Um, so those are some additional resources we have on our website. Um, I'll just kind of pull over an example of what, um, what these templates look like. You know, as I mentioned, there's several. I'm just going to Kind of pull this one over and show you, you know, you can adjust what's needed here, but you can put your own city and state 
um, in there. Can everyone see this? See this template I shared over? Or can you only see my slide? Yeah, we can see the uh, the contact, Jamie, all that jazz that you're the uh, for immediate release stuff. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Nick. I could not see that on my other screen, so just wanted to make sure. But anyway, here's an example of that. Um, I just wanted to share that we are just getting them updated on our brand new site, so make sure to look out for that. Um, in fact, I wanted to share with you what our new website looks like. So I'm just going to pull that over really quick um, and help you see what this new site looks like. If you haven't checked it out already, obviously. Um, but here's our tour site. Here is 16 days until October. Um, here you can see and navigate all these different options. Here is where you would, you know, find a tour near you and where they populate throughout Minnesota. There's already um, some being listed here. And so those tour resources, which looks like many of them are getting um, inserted as we speak. And so those templates coming soon. Um, videos, we have a bunch of videos. I'm gonna share a couple during today's presentation, during today's webinar. Um, bus funding. So again, check all this out. We have put a lot of effort into making sure that we have all of the resources and have simplified this process. But it's a brand new site. We're very excited about it. Um, there's also an opportunity for sponsors to um, contribute. Any amount of funding helps um, from towards transportation funding or supporting the statewide tour effort. So just kind of sharing what that new awesome website looks like now. Uh, moving on, uh, I shared the site and our templates, a little bit of those. I'm gonna share a couple of videos now um, that we have used in the past and that you um, can also use as you're sharing out um, the statewide tour. We'll also be sharing them in our marketing and then also one that's dedicated for um, career opportunities. So I hope you can all hear. They're very short. And so I'm just going to play them quickly here. Jamie, there's no sound. All right. Well, that was the one dedicated to the statewide tour. And then here is one about the career opportunities and the salaries that are aligned with a career in manufacturing.
Well, I'm, I'm hearing that there is no sound for some people, um, but I will show you where you can find these videos on our site. Um, so you can kind of see the content. I'm sorry, I'm not able to play the music that goes along with that so that you can hear that as well. It's pretty fun. This video is almost over and then I'll share you, or I'll show you where you can find them on our site. Looks like there was some special audio session, audio settings that needed to happen before that. So I apologize for that. Um, but here, here you can see um, our tour site. And then I wanted to show you where you should be able to find our videos. And so we have a number of videos. If you want those specific videos sent to you, so you're not mistaken, we can certainly help you out with that. But these are those two videos. Your future in manufacturing and this statewide tour of manufacturing Minnesota manufactured video. So, so that is that um, in terms of the video. So we have a student career video, a statewide tour promotional video. We have some female manufacturing videos as well. So just visit our YouTube channel. Um, and those are those are great to share out the message specifically to that female audience about careers in manufacturing. In fact, we have one where women that have worked their entire career in manufacturing talk about how they started, why it's been such a great career path for them. And um, they have their leaders and, and owners of manufacturing facilities. And so that story is also really compelling to share out um, with, with girls and, and females um, considering a career in manufacturing because we definitely, uh, we have, you know, the workforce is um, fairly equal in the percentages of, of male and female. However, the percentages of, of women in, that choose a career or working in um, manufacturing is, is, is far less. So some work to be done there. And now um, we also have some banners that, you know, that you could add to your website as a partner um, or those magazines or some of those different um, publications that are your, that are going out that might be aligned with promoting the tour in your community. Um, so that's, we have um, a lot of different pictures that we can insert and change out, but this is kind of what it looks like in terms of branding. And then registering your event. So just bringing to light the critical importance of registering your event. And so I'm going to bring that website back over. Um, back over to the screen and so that you can see all of the different ways that especially registering an event. So um, find a tour, find a regional contact, host a tour, register a tour today. This is really, really important um, that you register the tours. Again, we serve in that space of tracking the impact of this event. And so it's it's just really important that you insert all the information and submit a tour so that it populates in this area. So, and making sure that, you know, it's a shareable link um, to increase attendance, you know, and raise that awareness of, of statewide awareness around it um, to just bring more, more promotion to the tour and to your event. You know, it demonstrates continuity and advocacy and collaboration and partnerships and all the things that we want um, to bring to the whole 
the branding and the effort of the statewide tour of manufacturing, the community, the regional impact, the economic impact, all of it. And so um, make sure that you register your event. This is what it looks like on our site that I showed you. Um, I, I kind of walked you through that area. So if a manufacturer would like to participate in bringing recognition to the industry and open their doors, that first step is to register your event. Um, here's again, a kind of a snapshot of where those tour locations would be and add it to the map. Um, there are some public tours and there's some closed school tours, but this is an opportunity for schools to see where manufacturers are, are having tours. Um, if there isn't like a coordinator involved, that's, um, bringing the schools to the facilities and that's already pre-arranged. It's an opportunity for your, for a school to find a tour near them, um, and, and kind of do that outreach or for a manufacturing facility um, to locate the schools in that area. So twofold there. So school and community outreach. So feel free um, you know, to share any more best practices in the chat. You know, The best approaches are ideas that everyone can leverage. So feel free to add some of those best practices in the chat, but many of you, you know, would have those tips and lessons that you have learned over the years. But Remember to look as broad as possible. So on a crowd building size, look at as, as broad as po possible. Think about the stakeholders in the manufacturing industry, in your community. Go as broad as possible. Think about the manufacturing workforce ecosystem, the echo chamber, you know, local businesses, business networking groups, and economic development groups, public officials, secondary schools, technical schools and universities, primary and secondary schools, church organizations, religious organizations, community groups. They can not only amplify what you're doing, but be part of your tour event and support it. And so think about anyone, um, anyone in your network. And so marketing in general is really identifying audiences and the messaging to speak to those audiences. So if this is a manufacturing event, you are making a list of who is involved in the community, who would care about this effort, who can we bring to the table, who wants to hear this message and who are the audiences involved. So, you know, in terms of going to school districts, go right to the school district, the superintendent first, and then the principals and the teachers, because they that is more broad with bringing the classroom education to life. So teachers are more on board when there's support and direction from the higher level, the superintendents, the school districts. So really building a crowd that can not only amplify what you're doing, but be part of your manufacturing tour event in your community. So reach out to the local news, radio and television. Let's make manufacturing a big deal this October. On leveraging networks, really work towards mapping those relationships. Use relationships that you have um, in your organization to identify those key points of contact. Make your proposition really clear and beneficial for them. Talk to your team about who's best for that outreach. The way to get the individuals is based on relationships. And because of those relationships you have with your local contact list, so reach out to school board members, superintendent offices, and school administrators, as well as principals and teachers. Secure district level and buy-in support. Again, there's key considerations. Really think about who is best for that outreach on your team. And then mapping out the relationships that each team member has and who they can reach out to. And so enhancing perceptions through messaging. Leverage every medium you have at your disposal. Leverage every audience you have at your disposal. Excuse me for that typo there. There's missing a Y. And own your story. So proven points to shift perceptions with students. So tying careers to activities, linking careers to technology and how manufacturers produce something tangible and real, something we use every day, how manufacturers are making a difference every day. So showing the range of entry points and paths to careers, signaling demand, and the rewards to manufacturing careers. And we have a lot of resources to help you with that messaging, um, particularly even that career video. So consider your messengers. Students should be able to see themselves working there and see people at the start of their careers as those spokespeople for the industry. So company leaders and HR professionals, on the other hand, 
you know, they might provide other insights into career progression um, as you're showing those other opportunities in that facility and professional growth opportunities. So we want to link the manufacturing experience into our day-to-day -day life. The messages should be presented that they can see as role models. So the message is also for teachers, for counselors, for influencers, be thinking about all of the messaging. In fact, one of the best practices at um, two webinars, two Friday webinars ago, were shared from industry um, and they set goals and objectives um, surrounding what the goal, what they wanted to get out of their tours. And they identified how the audiences were going to experience their facility, how who they were going to um, speak to, what they were going to see, what hands-on activities were going to happen, and how they were going to measure impact. And so it's really important that with getting the word out about your tour, um, that you're really thinking about utilizing that messaging and thinking about all of the audiences involved and really owning the story that you're trying to tell because you're really hosting an experience and you're hosting an experience to do two things, to showcase those career opportunities in your own facility, but also to highlight manufacturing careers as a great career choice. And so getting the word out, advance the message, tie in that broad statewide purpose. You know, we've got the resources to help you tie in that statewide. This is not just you. This is everyone throughout the state. Not, you know, our governor has announced manufacturing um, to be highlighted in Minnesota the entire month of October. So manufacturing today provides great paying careers with the opportunity to create to create a future. Um, again, there's over 10,000 jobs to be filled and the purpose is to make manufacturing careers that default option. What are you going to do when you grow up? Should be, we should start to hear, I'm gonna go into manufacturing. I'm gonna go work at that facility. They have great, they pay well. They have great career path. And then owning the story. Utilize your owned channels, such as websites, blogs, and internal communication. So utilize what you already have in terms of what you have put in place with social media, with blogs, with those internal communications. Use those to start communicating that you are part of this broad effort statewide. And then remember, capture photos and videos um, and in, and use those in that messaging, in that story um, that you're sharing about, you know, what, what somebody is going to experience at your facility. So make it personal um, and encourage participants to also share that on social media. So the separate is not only helpful for tour promotion, but also for the promotion of your facility and all the jobs available. And then don't forget about diverse and equitable events. So making an impact, think about, you know, Generation Z, they care about making a difference, making, you know, doing something that makes life a better world, contribution to societal good, um, you know, demonstrating that you can achieve success, make a difference. Manufacturing certainly has stereotypes and we can change those with this imaging and messaging. We can showcase that there's, that manufacturing careers are for everyone. So also it's really important to think through some hands-on activities. You know, that really has been statistically shown to um, change those perceptions and get people excited. And so really think through, you know, what could um, what could students do or what, what could um, our attendees do that would be really hands-on. You know, um, I, I def I've been on a lot of tours myself and I can tell you that there's been some really good ones and some really bad ones. And the best ones are when, you know, they show the latest technology, we don't have too many stops. They show the well-lit, um, you know, the well-lit areas of the facility, that high-tech technology, they have leadership involved, they have youth, you know, the younger employees starting career path involved. And they have a plan around what the audience is going to see and do when they're there. And so really think through how somebody would really make a decision to choose a career in manufacturing or what is the best way to change that perception. And so especially, um, you know, still th be thinking about, you know, how to communicate 
Um, you know, while women make up 47% of the total workforce, they only make up about 30% of the 15.8 million people employed in the manufacturing industry. And so there's only one in four manufacturing leaders that are women. And we really want, we really want to show, you know, everyone um, that there's careers in manufacturing. And also, also think about those parents as well. So hosting a statewide tour event. So what qualifies for being registered and toured tour numbers? So these are really kind of the criteria, college tours, community and regional events, manufacturing tours and open houses, schools, closed, you know, closed tours and virtual tours. And um, we do not need you to register for, you know, these other activities that are happening. Of course, we want everyone to be involved in some type of an activity surrounding um, promoting manufacturing careers. You know, those could be roundtable discussions with leadership, hosting one of those during the month of October, um, having, you know, a job fair, career fair, um, any challenges or competitions. We've heard about essay contests um, that schools have that schools have rolled out as part of their effort in a region um, and presentations to students, you know, coming into the classroom, that type of thing. But those are the ones that we do want registered. Um, again, registering events is super important. There's, you know, like I said, no one size that fits all. We advocate for certainly in-person tours is the best at capturing attention and engaging those students in activities. So you can make it what works best and set those goals and what's the pathway going to look like. Um, you know, I, I would say we would love to share best practices for how schools should handle these tours with their students, use our curriculum, use those videos, um, and make sure that you bring it full circle, um, that it's not just a field trip, and make sure that you ask those questions and you engage those parents. Um, you utilize our templates. We have a letter for parents. We have a, um, you know, all, all of those different resources that could be used lots of videos to share, really driving that home because um, it's really important that these students know what they're going to do and, and how to focus their education moving forward. So marketing and digital promotional strategies, um, you know, definitely showcase those reminders, you know, show the excitement, use those hashtags to create that amplifying message. Um, maybe spotlight some employees in the process particularly perhaps, you know, some of the new employees. How did they get there? What was their path? Um, highlight some happy employee stories, promote your tour, um, promote your virtual tours, promote those um, tour pictures, that type of thing. Show your followers your own facility floor and have a plan. So why join the effort? Um, explain to your followers in posts or short video why hosting a tour matters or any engaging awareness activity that works towards changing that perception of manufacturing. Again, post the details of your event on social media so followers can attend. And in regards to, you know, the happy employee stories, record those short videos. That's a great opportunity to really take a pulse on how your company is doing and, and why um, a reminder of why why your employees love what they do, um, or 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 a um, reflection on okay, well, what 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 can we change to make our employees continue to be happy here? So, an employee spotlight highlight one or more employees that your manufacturing facility, um, you know, that you would show as part of reaching that audience. So, share their path into manufacturing, and st a statewide tour event content. So, really. There should be, you know, when I when I had a previous webinar, I talked about, you know, how to really engage your audience, you know, have an, an entry survey, an entry poll. It can be just raise your hand. What do you know about manufacturing or do you know anybody that, you know, so engage your audience? Um, you know, there's lots of ways to do that formally or, or not formally. Um, and it's always good to have leadership involved to welcome the guests and to share that story of the company and engage the audience and share what the company does. So that high level, um, the history of how, of what you do and how, why it's so important um, and getting your younger employees involved in this too. So students will be more engaged when they're talking to those, to those new employees. How did you get, you know, 
into working here and, and do you like your position? Um, again, hands-on activities, think about how to engage that audience. Um, maybe you wanna invest in something that helps facilitate that better for your company. And then give youth the opportunity to interact and talk and have discussions with employees. So a way to kind of measure that impact is, all right, bring everybody together after the tour and allow them to ask those questions or facilitate um, some of those questions. Many times I've been on a tour and it just sort of ends and you're done and you might have some lasting questions, but for students and to make that impact, it's really important that there's a full circle approach around that, um, kind of a round table so that the questions can be answered. And then measuring impact. Um, we are certainly here to help with survey instruments if you need some help with that. And we'll certainly post um, a post tour survey that could be utilized. And then, you know, I recommend that, again, that you set some goals and objectives ahead of time as a team and then decide how you wanna measure that. So send, you can please send the results to the center so that we can continue to assist you and kind of measure what maybe is happening in that space. And then capture those success stories. Those are really, really important to capture. Um, just capturing those testimonials, those can be achieved in the round table or some post-survey where you can really learn um, the testimonials like these that you want to hear as educators would say, I mean, these are just, this is exactly what we need to promote the tour and promote that engagement. A middle school teacher who teaches an intro to engineering course and a computer science course, they understand the need for workers and understanding how technology works, collaborating with others. Then this teacher said, my students were able to view these skills in action in the real world they've been working on in the classroom. So how important is that? It's not, it's just so important for a full circle education um, and that manufacturing can kind of serve in that space because these educators really need to bring their education into reality. And this is a way to do that. Um, and then another educator said, I feel the Minnesota Manufacturing Tour is a key component in their curriculum that helps bridge that theory into the real world activities. So that's that's what we want to see. That's what's making a difference. That's what's leading these students from theory to a career path. So the ways to get involved, host an in-person or a virtual tour, attend an event yourself, recruit other manufacturers to get involved, sponsor. We need your financial support. We get a request all over the state from every size school for help with transportation funding, especially with inflation, the increased cost of transportation and gas, we um, we need your help to help support all of the tours that happen. And so any amount of funding helps with, helps to support that experiential education, that those tours, this manufacturing pro message to happen. And so promotion of this effort in your region and community also is um, a way to get involved. And then an Educator participation, if there's educators on this call, obviously um, this offers all of these different benefits, it offers ways for students to engage with local communities. It's so important that they feel um, for just sustainability of the community, that they know there's opportunities to work there. Further resources to engage students, you know, helping to make a difference for students and the industry. And it's super exciting and, and fun field trip and learning about different career opportunities that they can see that manufacturing careers are for everyone. So how local communities can get involved, they can organize a community tour, they can organize school tours, promote the event, virtual tour development, they can get all the, you know, if nobody wants to open their doors, they can get everybody to, hope, you know, pull together a short video um, and share that out. But again, really register that tour activity, register those events. So just bring you full circle and overview of next steps. Go to our site, find the resources to support your event, register those events, leverage those hashtags to amplify your promotion, update um, your materials with the latest logo. We can send you that. Promote your tour locally, take pictures, share on social media, report those results, and then share success stories and plan to host again next year. And then new this year, um, we have, we're going to be rolling out a contest for schools. 
Many of you have experienced firsthand those short, quick, real reels, those videos that have just really quick, impactful messaging. And we, we really want to get students, um, because they already know how to do it and do it already, um, to create a short, fun video about um, manufacturing careers and the exciting opportunities that are available choosing a career in manufacturing. And so really looking forward to that. We had a similar contest in a region um, through in Minnesota and it was um, thousands of votes. Um, it was really a viral, really a, created a viral way to share the pro manufacturing message and get students involved in their families involved and really bringing full circle, changing those perceptions with all of their network. So thinking about the network and then an awards banquet, just really again, celebrating everything that everyone did. We know that this is a lot of effort can be for communities, can be for manufacturers, can be for schools, can be for anyone involved um, that's trying to make a difference in changing those perceptions of manufacturing and promoting the industry. And so we really want to highlight and, and bring awareness and congratulate and celebrate um, everything that's happening as we change the perceptions of manufacturing and make that the default answer. Yes, I'm gonna work in manufacturing. So um, again, here's some time for questions and comments and feedback, copy of the slides um, and recording will be available on our, on our new site here very soon. If you have any stories, um, success stories or testimonies that you wanna share, please, please reach out to us directly. Uh, we need to tell the story. We're here to do that. So um, if there are lots of questions or offline questions, definitely register to um, have longer conversations with me if you need to brainstorm or really think through some, some other um, questions and concerns that you might have following this webinar. So next Friday, I will be um, available for that. And we'll have some ways for you to register that time. So... Does anybody have any questions? You can unmute yourselves now if you desire to ask a question or feel free to comment in real time. Jamie, there is a question from Shelly in the chat. Okay, let's see if I can... What kind of contests? Um, so uh, we the contest would be surrounding making the, a video and then it would be voted on whoever gets the most votes, the best video. So there'll be some, the contest will be around, um, I guess the popularity of, of that video. Um, and there'll be a, our regional champion team will be the ones that will decide the criteria for the videos, um, the contest surrounding that, but the contest will be surrounding the, the career videos that the students put together and then share that out. So we're still, we're still rolling out that process, but this year we'll be um, sending out kind of that overview of what the contest is um, and what's all involved um, with the, you know, overall contest goals and rules, but it, it's around a students creating a video as part of their, what they learned about what's so cool about manufacturing. So stay tuned. Tours can be registered any month. Yes, we certainly bring a lot of attention to October, but like I said, there's a lot of tours that happen in the spring because that's better for the school or better for manufacturers. Or there's tours that happen in the summer because that's better for manufacturers. And there's a community that's going to do that. So definitely, um, definitely not just October. The templates will be available 
um, hopefully within the, by next week for sure on the website. The, Jamie, <laughs> sorry, this is Jeremy. The templates should be posted in the next two hours. Two hours, that's even better. Yep. And in reading through some of these notes, um, I apologize if I went a little too quickly in some in some areas. We these webinars are one hour, and so um, we are finishing on time. Um, but if you had any questions or concerns or needed a little bit more detail, um, again, visit our new site, look around, check it out. If you have any any additional questions, um, that is why I wanted to kind of reserve my time next Friday for these longer questions or brainstorming or just um, need a little bit more content surrounding some of the things I shared. Um, I did try to share really compelling information that I shared in some of the past webinars about who we are and what our goals are with this event and, and all of that. So just try to go through that super quick um, and get right right to what I wanted to share out today about getting the word out. Um, but if you if you still need a little bit more um, content around that, we'll have this uh, this webinar recorded so you can watch that and feel free to reach out to me directly and I can kind of walk you through that a little bit a little bit more um, systematically. And certainly we can hang on the line for any one-on-one -on -one questions. Um, so we're really grateful for your time here today and that you were here to learn about what we're doing and what we're doing as a statewide effort. Um, and we're certainly very dedicated to the growth of, of this tour, so. But again, my name is Jamie Meyer. Thank you for your time today. Um, and have a wonderful weekend. And if you have any additional questions, feel free, um, we can hang on the line. Other than that, that concludes this Friday webinar, getting the word out.